We're here in Little River and this morning we're going to try and catch some tui, put some bands on their legs so we can all figure out what they're up to and where they're moving to and other interesting things about their biology. So we've got a team of people here from the Department of Conservation and Lincoln University and they're just figuring out where would be the best place to put the net. We've got a sugar feeder in this tree here. which attracts the birds in. This is Wayne. Give us a wave, Wayne. Hi. And Laura. And Bryn, who's gone inside. There's a couple of birds in now. Even though we're standing right here, yeah. Coming into the feeder. Here's Brim, he's been studying the tui for a little while now. So we've got one net set up here. Wayne's just about to bob under it. As you can see, it's very, very fine. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer so you can pick it up. There. We're going to set a net, second net up now. We'll watch them for a bit and can see which way they're flying in and flying out. Looks like we've got a bellbird customer. So you have to be specially trained in order to do this job. They've got beautiful faces, haven't they? Uh, get your mush out of it. Ah, oh, there we are. And Wayne's going to release him back now. We've got an already banded one in the net. So a resident male. Almost there. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to get some of your offspring. You're a clever daddy though, aren't you? <laughs> so he's going to hop in the bag for a while so we don't accidentally catch him again. Who would have thought the barbecue would come in so handy? Yeah. So the birds are in there and they're quite safe in there. What's that one weighing in at, Bryn? We breed them big over here in Okuti Valley. <laughs> so once the birds are caught, there's quite a procedure to go through with banding them, to weigh them and measure them, record all the details down. So this is a really fiddly job. Laura has to work really quickly so that we don't stress the bird out. She's very efficient and proficient. It's a bit hard when you've got cold hands, isn't it, yeah, Laura? I've got a finger on each hand that I can't feel right now. Oh. Laura's checking the band combinations to make sure that we're not doubling up. So the metal bands have got a unique combination number on them. So that we can identify the birds. And then they get one or two coloured bands as well. Mm. Okay, Bryn's going to let this one go now because it's been processed. Here we go, two white bands. Oh. The blood on the bag is Laura's, not the birds, by the way. <laughs> Wayne, how long have the Tui been on Banks Peninsula now? Good question. Uh, tui have been on the Peninsula mm -hmm. for about six years now. Yeah. So mm. they were caught on Maud Island mm. in Lower Sounds mm -hmm. um, and brought down over two years. Yeah. And yes. brought down uh, 30 birds the first year. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, 42? 40, 42 the following year. Yeah. Right. Um, mm. So that was our base population. Yeah. We don't know. Um, 
What age of the birds were they released? They were a mixture of adults and juveniles. Yeah. And they were all banded, were they? They were all banded, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of them had transmitters as well. Oh, right. Um, so we've been able to track the birds. Yeah. And we actually still have a few of those original birds still on the peninsula. Mm -hmm. Great. So we don't know how long they live for? Mm. Uh, good question. Um, several years. Yeah. Turning it to Laura's food source and <laughs> much stress they're under. Yeah. 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 Mm. But there seems to be plenty of food on the peninsula. Yeah. And how many do you think there are on the peninsula now? Or is that a <coughs> difficult question to answer? Very difficult question to quantify. Yeah. Because there's a large number of unbanded birds. Yeah. So it's a bit hard to tell if people are seeing the same bird or if it's a, a, a new, new bird. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the value of doing the work we're doing today, I guess. That's right. Putting the bands on them so that we can figure yes. out where they are. Yeah, we can figure out how many we've got. Yeah. And who to feed up with. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thanks.